Hey guys, it is Briar Trot here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to try vlogging a little bit for you guys. So right now I am in Florida as you guys know if you watched my last video and I said that I wasn't going to be uploading for the rest of the week um, and possibly next week. But um, we are going to a few antique shops today and I was going to be looking for some briars. So I thought that I would take you guys along. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully we'll actually find something and hopefully this is entertaining. This is also being filmed on my phone and I think that the quality will be okay. I do have an eight, so like it's not that bad, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna try this out. So I hope you guys enjoy. So this is the first antique shop that we stopped at and let's go inside. So these are a few horses that I found pretty much right away, but we're gonna come back to them. I actually have so much poor stuff here, but like only the few bars that I just showed you guys. So still haven't found any more briars, but I found these cool horse carriages. There's also, there's also a horse over there. I would love to like actually ride like a horse carriage and like draw it because we do have one of our horses that's my grandpa's he was um, like a pacer so I assume he knows how to pull a cart so that'd be cool if we could try it one day but yeah I don't know I'm just still trying to look for briars but I just came outside quickly just to look at all the stuff out here but so far all I found was those briars that were inside that I showed you guys and um yeah they were very <laughs> me okay so i came back here because nobody else was around but this is um an arabian mare who was glossy who actually or semi-glossy which i thought was really really pretty but she was super beat up in 14 dollars, and i was not about to spend that on that horse because obviously i don't need her and then there was this Adios horse who I was absolutely obsessed with because I'm obsessed with the Adios mold. But again, super duper beat up and was like $20. So again, not worth it. That's what happens with um, antique stores. They overprice every briar. And then just some classics. This guy was $14 or 15, $15 or 14. I don't know. I can't read it. And then there was this pacer who was, I was like really really loving but um again super beat up, beat up and 24 dollars and was not about to spend that on a body all right we're just going to take a second to talk about this horse um let me put him back on the shelf but he was the most expensive out of all these horses and he was 65 dollars this is a classic briar and i just oh i did not see it being worth that much um yeah, I don't know why. This was also just a not briar that was cheap that I just showed you guys. So this is the next one that we went to. I think it was right across the street. So basically right when I got into the store, I found these guys and yeah, they were all very nice just beat up and overpriced just like any antique shop this is upside down but i just took a closer look at this girl I took a closer look at this guy who i was starting to really like because all of his flaws were pretty fixable so then i walked into the next room and found all of these guys who i was very excited to see then directly across from that booth was this one with tons of briars a lot new in box some of them were not um, vintage, but still cool to see. A random cow. Then just some classics that I found in a corner. I just thought that this was pretty cool. So I'm really thinking about getting this girl. I don't know why. I just always wanted to put on this move. And it's only $16, which is like one of the cheapest traditionals here. And really not that beat up. Like everything that is wrong, I can fix up pretty easily. So... And here is the last spot. And here are some cool Heartland that I found and just wanted to show you guys them. I forgot to look at the prices, but uh, yeah. Now this big shelf that I found with basically all the briars in this place. There were a lot. A lot of them were pretty new, but there were some older ones, but nothing too crazy old. And they were all 
pretty okay prices, but just nothing I was absolutely obsessed with or thought was a pretty good deal, so didn't get any of them. Also found this guy, but I'm not a big fan of this mold. Then here are just some cool horseshoe stuff that I found. I really like the heart horseshoe things, and I really wanna try to get something like this to put in my room one day. Then just found this boy sitting on a shelf all by himself, and then I would take a little video of him. Also found this horse who was like an Olympic horse, but he was $80. And I don't know if that's overpriced, but I kind of feel it is. I need to do my research. All right, guys. So I am back from the antique shop and I did end up getting this girl. It's actually the next day because the lighting was bad yesterday by the time that I got back. So she does have quite a few flaws. Um, most I feel like I could fix. I'm not too worried about showing her um just because I, I this is just a horse that i really want just to have so i'm like okay if i can't get every single flaw off but i do want to try and make her as pretty as possible again even though she's already very pretty i think with her being white and like there's no really paint on this i'll be able to etch off some stuff especially like that was in the mane and like on the tail but yeah i'm excited for her i love this horse I've always wanted this horse, or just a horse in this mold. I wish that she did come with um, the foal, but unfortunately she didn't. Um, if she did, I definitely would have gotten it too. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. I could like go to the tack shop or even go antiquing again because we usually go whenever we go on vacations. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Comment whatever you feel below. And most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye!